Hi everyone. Welcome to another What's Next video here in Deleuze Canyon. That's in North County, San Diego, California. Today, I am going to get some exercise in. I haven't been out walking or power trekking for the last two days. I need to get one in today. I try to go every third day for at least three miles. We'll see how I do. I like it when it's nice and cool like this. Uh, the clouds are right down on top of the hills. It's about 900 feet right there. And these are the artichokes that I'm growing. These are the cardoons. I'll show you a, a quick clip where I messed up with my microphone not being on, where this is about maybe 10 feet tall now, way over my head. But I've got a lot of artichokes up there. I've already eaten one. They're kind of a cross between a cardoon and an artichoke. And I've got more on this side over here. You can see that that's got lots of artichokes on it as well. So, wow, these things are way up there. I'll be cutting those out today. I'm also going to try to plant some Tahitian squash over next to that white little fence thing. And this is my basil that I got from the store. These are volunteer basils that are coming up. I can see I've got some bugs eating on that one. And this is just one little package of basil you get at the, in the grocery store in the produce section and you can plant it in the ground and it will grow like this if you put it, uh, if you let it go. Just make sure that when you do that, that you always trim these little tops off like this. You gotta pick this little, top off there I didn't get that one good enough like that and then that will grow a new top and it'll keep it from bolting and going to seed over here my cilantro uh, is going to be going to seed pretty soon I gotta harvest this it's way overdue this is white fly right there it comes right off but uh, we have a, quite a bit of white fly coming through the canyon right now. I don't know why, but and this is a new batch uh, of cilantro. Uh, my garlic looks good, and with that, I'm going to get trekking, and I will come back and video my results, and we'll talk about a few other things that's going on here in my garden and in the canyon. Well, happy Mother's Day, belated happy Mother's Day to those of the mothers out there, including my own. And this is Sunday, and I managed to get a pretty good trek in today. I got 3.3 miles. I put my stats right up here. You can see them in just a second. And it was a really good hike, except for I kept pooping out. I've been on a diet, trying to lose about five pounds, 10 pounds, somewhere in there. I like 10 pounds. Uh, and I don't think I have enough calories to get through the whole thing without running out of energy. So that or being a little older, like 70, that uh, could be having something to do with it as well. But in any case, I am uh, got a good trek in. I still did 3.2 miles an hour through the entire thing. And uh, right now I'm feeling great. I'm totally winded now. I got all my breath back, my heart rate's back to normal. And now I'm going to do some gardening out there. So um, I'm going to plant some beets and some 
Uh, I think I'm going to put the Tahitian squash in today. So I'll put that on the video. I'm also going to talk about my friend Candace's house. She has a wonderful house down the road. We're going to take a quick drive down there in my car. I'm going to show you a um, modified greenhouse. Actually, it's just shade cloth because it gets really hot out here in this desert canyon during the summer. And it'll burn plants because it just is direct sunlight. We're at about 800 feet. And for some reason, it just focuses in and it'll cook, cook our little uh, greeny vegetables. So that helps putting shade cloth over that uh, part of the garden. So I'm going to do that as well. And with that, I'm going to take these wet clothes off, cool down, drink water, and then come back out with more video. And by the way, thanks for all the new subscribers and all those who like and share their comments on the channel. And they're much appreciated. Thanks again. This is my friend's house and she is, we are both over 70, so one of the stories I've got to tell you is that we put this little greenhouse together, which is really a carport, and it was really simple to do. We did it by ourselves, but we did it a little differently than the, the instructions said, and what we did is did the end pieces and the and the end pieces put them up and then we put the middle struts in and then we put shade cloth instead of having it covered like a carport very inexpensive and well really kind of inexpensive and everything is just snapped together so it's like these snaps here and all the parts come together they're all numbered and lettered and it was really an easy thing to do so what I've come down here today is to just check on the watering we've set up automatic watering system she is off uh, to martha's island and i'm um, doing a seminar and um, also i've agreed or she's my friend so i'm coming by to check i've also uh, set some traps in here most of what she had growing was eaten by rats and that's an unfortunate thing um, but they do, they get in here and they ate all the little plants. So um, I'm going to check on my traps and I'll turn the camera off for that. 
Well, yesterday they stole my bait and didn't get a single one. No, I did, I caught one. But today, I got two. And the bait was in one, the bait was gone in the other, so I rebaited, and hopefully tomorrow we'll catch the rest of them. But they've totally got all of the vegetables out of here, but uh, they're not it getting them now because I've caught them, the rats that are eating them. So, they don't seem to be bothering the melons though. They look okay. Welcome back everybody. I am going to start with my garden. Only going to work on here for about an hour. The sun is kind of beating down out here right now. The temperature is about 80 degrees and a little bit of breeze. In about an hour it'll be really breezy in here. And um, yeah, I love those artichokes. I've got all sprayed down with bug spray because they're out there. The biting flies are trying to eat me alive. And here's where I'm going to put my red beets right in this area here. I'm going to use my little drill auger, uh, rototiller, and till this up. And I think I'm going to put the Tahitian squash right over here in this area here because here I have some chicken wire, as you can see there. There's chicken wire under the ground in order to keep the gophers from coming up and eating uh, this whole area up. They come up from this hill and they come up underneath and then they eat it and they pull them down. It's really weird. It looks like out of a cartoon. So here's where my Tahitian squash are going to go and I'm going to train them to go down the hill. So I'm going to be putting some black uh, tarp down here. Or actually it's a plastic stuff that they use in agriculture and that will be going there to um, let them run over and keep the grass and weeds from coming up between them. So that's what I'm going to get started with right yeah. now. A little bit of extra weeding that I need to do and a little uh, rototillering. I am going to show you this is the Greek oregano that I pulled out from here and that stuff just creeps along the ground and it's really prolific. So this is all the area that this over here is where I pulled it all out and this is what I pulled out from there. So that's all Greek oregano and it crawls along the ground in like root like things like this and grows on top of that. So. It grows crazy. And um, I have more Greek oregano than I could possibly use. So I'm gonna get busy with it, that in there.
A while back I did a video about using milk cartons to start my plants and they kind of automatic water by the top and yeah it works really good. So I take the top part out then I can take the whole plant out and now my Tahitian squash is planted. And I can reuse this another time. So this comes out like that and it goes in like that. Easy peasy. All planted for today. Next time I'll put in my Tahitian or my uh, Manganji peppers, uh, poblano peppers, once I harvest my garlic. Now time to water. So that'll be the end of my video for today. I want to thank all of my subscribers again and thanks for watching. We'll see you soon with another video about the gardening and who knows what else I find. What's next here in Duluth Canyon? Bye!